Indeed, some of the scholars will tell you if you want Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to listen to you, or if you want to speak to Allah, pray. If you want to listen to Allah, listen to the Quran. So now, Akhi and Ukhti, we already know the answer. If you pray, what happens? And if you don't pray, what happens? So some of us will procrastinate. Sawfa atub. After I reach 40, after I perform Hajj, after I get married. You're riding the waves of false hopes. Imagine yourself standing in front of Allah subhanahu wa jalla fi ula when He asks you questions. Abdi lima lam tusalli. My slave, why did you not pray? What excuse will you do? What will you say? Where will you run? Where will you hide? I was rich, I was poor, I was good looking, places to go, things to do, people to see. La wallahi. Imagine that some of us are worse than shaitan. Subhanallah. How could you be worse than shaitan? Is it possible for you actually to be called worse than shaitan? I'm sure you know who I'm talking about. No need for introduction. You know who is worse than shaitan? The one that does not pray. Because Umira Shaitan Liasjud li Adam Fa Abba wa Umira Bni Adam Liasjud li Lahi Fa Abba Fa Ayuhuma Aswa Aladi Umra and Yasjud li Adam Fa Abba Amaladi Umra and Yasjud li Lahi Fa Abba. Which one is worse? Shaitan was commanded to bow down in respect to Adam. And the children of Adam was commanded to bow down to Allah Jalla fi Ula and they refused. Which one is worse? The one that was commanded to bow down to Adam and he refused, or the one that was commanded to bow down to Allah and refused? Subhanallah. Imagine yourself on Judgment Day, Akhi and Ukhti, where everyone will prostrate to Allah subhanahu wa jalla fi ula when Allah subhanahu wa jalla fi ula comes to start judgment in a way befitting His Majesty. يَوْمَ يُكْشَفُ عَنْ سَاقُ وَيُدْعُونَ إِلَى السُّجُودِ فَلَا يَسْتَطِيعُونَ When Allah comes befitting His Majesty. And they will prostrate, they will be asked to prostrate, and they will not be able to. So if you prostrated to Allah subhanahu wa jalla fi ula, in this dunya you would be able to prostrate to Allah on the, in the hereafter. If you did not prostrate to Allah here, you will not be given that glory or the chance to prostrate to Allah subhanahu wa jalla fi ula. So what's holding you back?